Hey guys, what's up? It's the Bermito. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to teach you how to make beats like this. So as you probably know, Drake just dropped his new album, Honestly Nevermind. This album is different than the rest of his albums because it's actually focusing on house music instead of R&B and rap like it was before. So usually for our tempo, we're going to be in the range of about 120 to 130. I'm at 126 right here. For our main melodies, we're going to use a lot of pads, vintage pianos, and also vintage electric pianos. So these melodies are pretty simple. They're gonna be happy and a little bit melancholy, sometimes kind of emotional. Low pass filters and gates are gonna be pretty common on these melodies, especially when you're using a pad. So this is my main melody. Then I added this trance gate. It's a really simple one. It's just a two step pretty much. Then I turned the mix knob down a little bit and this is what it sounds like. For your counter melodies, you're going to hear a lot of vocals, guitars, and weird like foley sounds. I just started off with a little vocal one shot. And that's actually the only counter melody that I did. A lot of these melodies are going to be pretty simple in these beats. By the way guys, make sure you go check me out on Patreon. We have an exclusive Discord server for all the patrons. I also post all of the FLPs for the beats that I break down in these videos, including this one. I also post all the uncut videos of me making these beats. It's only a couple bucks a month and it really supports me, so check it out if you can. But next, let's just get into the drums. For your hi-hats, you're going to hear a lot of percussive foley sounds, live hi-hats, regular trap hi-hats, and shakers. These patterns are usually going to be a heavily randomized type of one step pattern, like this for example. For your snare sound, it's usually going to be some sort of tonal one shot, a live rim, or a snap. I used this little vocal one shot. It doesn't have to be a regular snare pattern, you can kind of just make it up as you go like I did here. Then for your bass sound, we're usually going to hear a lot of really heavy bass stabs, short 808s, and synth basses. I just went with a synth bass. As you can see, it's pretty simple. We're mostly just on the root note the whole time, and then it changes up a little bit at the end of each bar, just to make it a little bit more interesting. And then here we've got some slides just doing kind of that. So with the bass, it sounds like this. For our kicks, we're usually going to use a lot of thumpy kick sounds. Usually these are going to be these four on the floor house type of patterns with a little bit of variation. This is what I did. Our open hats are going to be pretty repetitive and they're mostly just there to kind of accent how randomized the main hat pattern is. And for perks, there's going to be a lot of percussive sounds like bongos, wood blocks, stuff like that. It's going to be really simple and repetitive in rhythmic patterns. By the way, guys, make sure to go follow me on Instagram. I'm almost to 2,000 followers, and when I get there, I'm dropping a free MIDI kit. That'll be linked down in the description. So next, let's talk about the mix. As I showed you, I put the trance gate on that pad. Then on that first little vocal counter melody, I added this EQ just to kind of cut the lows and highs a little bit. And I also added a reverb. I did a pretty heavy reverb just to kind of set it in the background. Then then on the hi-hat, I added another reverb, pretty light this time, but just similar stuff, more so just to give it a little bit more life. And then I also added a phaser for the same reason. Then on the vocal snare type one shot, I did a pretty similar thing to the first one shot. I just kind of added this filter right here and then gave it some reverb and really washed it out to set it in the background. And that's all I did. After that, I just leveled it. These are pretty simple arrangements. The only thing to mention is that they sometimes start with the drums instead of the melody. So altogether, this is what the beat sounds like.
So right here, I'm going to put a playlist of all of my type beat tutorials. Make sure and let me know what artists or genres you want me to cover. But that's about it for this video. Make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you all for watching. I really appreciate it, and I'll talk to you all in the next video.